Minecraft is far too easy with the millions of blocks you have in your world. <laughs> a true expert like me, don't laugh, needs a challenge like surviving on one single block for 100 days kind of challenge. This block right here will respawn as a new block every single time I break it. And my goal is to create a world that fills up the void and has everything we need to survive. You see, so it's actually been uh, quite a while since I've recorded this series and I don't really remember anything other than that I want to go through this lovely little one block very slowly. I don't want to go through it too fast fast in the series, so I think that what we were doing was building. And I believe this was supposed to go into some kind of villager trading hall. Ah, yes, and then I was gonna make some kind of like sewer uh, section, you know, where I think I was gonna have all the farms down here. Okay, yep, yep, still been collecting all of these guys, okay. See, I'm starting to remember everything. I'm just trying to gauge on how far along are we in this world, you know? Like, how, how much do I need to actually try and uh, speed us along very, very fast? Of which, it would appear to me that I don't have any villagers and that is something that's quite drastically important but realistically i don't think that we need to actually worry about getting them just yet i feel like we should actually try and complete a lot of other stuff first so that then once we get the villagers we'll be very well off or at least be able to go through them a lot faster like building a farm because so far this is my only food source and i don't think i can actually give villagers a lot of mushroom stew or mushroom stew not mushroom oops sorry so i think if we just go down here and we start using this land area, what it was, you know, designed for, which, wow, I built this in a very unique way. Props to old me. Which, very thankfully, we have a lot of wood for that one, all thanks to our lovely tree farms over here. Oh my god, Bert, can you shut up? I'm the main character here. Oh my god, I'm housing divas. Now, you might be wondering to yourself, Skies, there's no way you're on day two. How did you do all of this before day one? Yes, yeah, so this is gonna be continuing off of the 50 hours series. It's just, I feel like 100 days is a lot better of a format for structuring and story wise and it'll just allow me to do a lot more compared to the 50 hour stuff so we can actually go through this entire series a lot faster now let's see because this is gonna lead into the farm areas but then for our vegetable farm area so we're gonna go over there so let's not go too crazy because i think future me will come back and probably make this place look a lot prettier once i you know kind of figure out everything now let's see here at the very least i think we go one there and we're gonna plug you off there that should be good now here's what we have so far just for you know like a nice little walkway which i think then we'll just go straight into here so now we're gonna be playing with some leveling because i don't want to have to worry about lighting like too much so if we do it like this we actually don't really need to worry about it whatsoever oh and then we can now start playing with some modded blocks which okay are you yep okay so i figured you'd be up that high so <sighs> Uh, okay, please don't mess up. Okay, good, good. Go where I want you to. Huh? Uh, let's see. How am I going to do this? I think if I do it like that and then I do it like this. No. So I'll put you on top. Yes. Okay, cool. Don't drop. Yeah, okay, thank you. I am totally going to get myself killed somehow. I, I, somehow I'm going to manage to be the only person to ever do this. Uh, <laughs> okay, yep. Just like that. Exactly how I figured. Okay. Mm, nah. Okay, yep, yep. This is, yep, this is really fun. This, this is going so Splendid. Okay. Can I pretty please get back to safety? Please let me up here. Thank you, dear God. And there we go. Wow, finally, I don't have a bridge that wants to get me killed. So, oh God, I wish that this could go down to that level. That, like, this really bugs me. Because I, oh, God, I hate that. Whew. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, I didn't die while doing that. Oh, man. oh god, I hope I made you all proud with that. No, that was some tough work. Oh, actually, here, maybe we put some slabs below you. And then that might actually just make it look a little better. I mean, I could do what I did in the past where I put leaves below this, but at the same time, I kind of don't want to. You know, I think we're better off, you know, just having it like this. But it doesn't look bad. I, you know, it's like a nice little bridge. Because very obviously, I can build this place super massive. Give like a 1,000 by 1,000 block area for the farm go super duper crazy however if you didn't see the 50 hour episode of this series i want to make everything really nice and tiny and kind of claustrophobic make everything very neat just to ignore my farms over there or my not not my farms oh god i'm so sorry everyone no no no. i meant my hotel rooms i also have no idea what i was going for here <laughs> I have no idea what past me was cooking. The design for the farm, I want to base it off of the staircase that I did over here in the past. And I kind of want to 
use these again. I have no idea what this is, but I love how they look. Plus, with the leaves below it, like, that looks so majestic. Plus, I really want to use vertical slabs a lot more, which this 100% should be in vanilla Minecraft. I'm just saying, phenomenal block right here. God tier. And I don't know how I want to... <gasps> Wait. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, I know exactly how I want to do this. Oh, this is going to be so beautiful. Oh, you're going to be proud of me. Okay, good, good. You actually go over the edge, so I'm not going to die while doing this. But here, I think we need to do like that. And the trickier part is I don't know if this is a half or if this is on like, like a full block, if you know what I mean. Like, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. so this is a full block kind of thing. Like, it's not, it's not an air block. That's what I'm trying to get at. The size of the farms, though, oh, God, because we're going to want carrots. We're going to want wheat. I think we'll want potatoes. You know, want the, want, want the holy trinity and then any other kind of farm. I kind of want to try out, like, every single vegetable. So I think this three is actually just going to be the center walkway going down. Let's just go just like that. We're going to probably change out these blocks. Then from this three center way, we're going to want to go one out. No, we're going to want to go two out for the farm. Then the farm is a nine by nine. Okay, so this is the edge of the farm. So let me go one, two, nine. And then we want two more for the edge of it. And then this goes into the wall. This isn't going to be tiny like how I want to build my entire base, but this is actually 100% needed because the farm has to be that huge. Kind of like Mr. Fox's muscles. Oh God, wait. Uh, ah, crap. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. I I'm starting to lose track of it already. Oh God, too much math or something. Too much calculus, you know? I'm doing a lot of trigonometry and astronomy or uh, astrology. No, yes. Yeah, astronomy yeah oh god i don't even have any dirt oh man past me what were you doing other than being a giga chad hey you seem to be enjoying the video and it mean a lot to me if you'd subscribe i have a challenge where if i hit 2 million subscribers i'll use a face cam in my horror videos please and thank you for subscribing okay perfect Whew, i don't know why mr fox was freaking out over this but i did figure it all out so this is the perfect farm right here of which what are you spruce planks path got it okay so let's go make some more because i I think you can actually be very useful on the farm. So if I put a pathway right here, you actually go on top, right? <gasps> oh, oh, and I love that. You almost don't even notice. Oh, yeah. I don't even think you, like, it moves you up whatsoever. Oh, this is perfect. So now we can cover up the water. This should hydrate everything. The only issue is dirt. Um, God, I, I know for a fact that this isn't enough dirt to actually finish this. And the better thing is how I don't think I have any gravel. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So I do have some gravel. Well, we really should go through and actually just make a whole lot of corn of dirt then yeah this is oh god this is gonna be a nightmare excuse you why am i not getting dirt wait 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 there's no way i'm losing all of this dirt no am i going insane or is it not wait is it dropping below the base i wish i could say that this is a bit but it's not wait then how did i get all of the dirt before no it's i I don't think it's dropping below. Okay, wait, so I get this dirt, but I don't get pathways. I feel so cheated. Do I need silk touch for this? I mean, I don't think I would because Shears should have been able to actually grab this. Well, uh, this really, uh, adds in a whole lot of complications. So, okay, if this doesn't work, Okay, so this works. Why Why are paths doing this? Wait, why Why am I getting screwed over to this? Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh my God, it's saved. Oh my God. Oh my God, I love hoes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we, we lost a few of them, but whatever. I don't really care. Oh, thank God. Okay, yep, we now have dirt. Oh, phew. Oh boy, so we haven't even gotten to the stage of getting obsidian, so that kind of sucks. Don't even have lava, or we might, it wasn't really paying attention. But at the very least, we'll just go through and finish up this farm so we can actually start growing some wheat. Oh, I didn't even bring any sage. What, I ate? Wait, I actually only have eight? Okay, I know we are going to be jump-starting this farm immensely. What was past me doing? Like, was I even playing the game at all? Oh, come on, Mr. Fox, you gotta keep me moving along. We gotta keep making progress. I don't know why you're just sitting over there just sleeping and not telling me anything. Oh my god, I've never even planted something before. Okay, very luckily the farm is completed. Seeds everywhere and we actually have one left over. Ah, boop. And then, at least now we have 14 things of bread. So if I were to ever go into the nether you know, anytime soon, we at least have something to hopefully hold us over in there because I already can guess that we are going to be getting a whole lot of enemies in there. Now, it doesn't entirely matter for us to continue with the farm because it's just, I need dirt. We need dirt to actually continue with to actually build something in there. And then I do remember you being dangerous and that's why I built this giant ring 
So then hopefully like creepers and other big boys that come through just won't get me. But we should focus on this one. I want to see if we can get into obsidian, which I'm hoping won't actually be that hard. Worst part is that I don't know what stage I'm on. Oh, hi. Okay. Yep. I'm on battle stage. Yep. Please stop trying to hurt me. Yeah. We might want to transform that a little bit more. I think I can make it even safer for whenever something like that spawns in. Yeah. Definitely need to make an auto sorting system. That'll 100% be in one of the episodes. Oh, wait. I almost forgot. So to make it safe so that, you know, I, I like to be a chicken in this. Now, is it pretty? No. But is it going to work well and keep things from getting out and killing me? Probably also no. But this does make me feel a bit safer. The reason why I had to build it up so tall is because some of the mobs that are going to be spawning on that block, they're usually pretty big. So if you build it very constricting, then they usually destroy the blocks around it. So I'm just like, I already know what's going to happen at some point in the future. So I'm really not looking forward to that. But this should be relatively safe and good. You know, we, we should be safe. And before like a giant gas spawns in and just kills me and screams and breaks my eardrums and then I scream and then you all laugh because I'm getting torn. Ooh, I actually don't mind that. Maybe we can use some bone meal and we can duplicate those or like grow them, you know? I don't know how any of that stuff works. I've never actually really played with those blocks. No, it's the worst thing ever. Ah, get the child away from me. Did he die? Okay, okay that was scary. <gasps> ah, ah. You can still shoot that. Wait, what? You can go through that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, good, good. So we, we have like decent armor on, but um, okay. I don't know why I'm surprised that they can go through that. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why that surprised me. <laughs> that should not be surprising whatsoever. <gasps> oh, wait, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh God, wait, do I not have a spot for you guys? Oh, okay, good, good. Whew. Don't know how long you guys can survive out of water, but probably shouldn't chance it. At some point, it would probably be a good idea to actually extend all of these and give them a whole lot more room, but that is not going to be right now. <laughs> <gasps> oh, oh, oh my God. Hello. Wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. We actually completed the phase, which I'm really shocked that it gave me two golden apples. Please be the nether. Oh, okay. <laughs> like quite literally the most opposite of it. Now this one isn't bad because I mean, at least with this, like, you know, we can probably get some sea lanterns out of it, which would be really nice to build with. But without a guardian farm, there's just no point in building with that stuff. So that's why I think that lanterns and glow stone is going to be our biggest ones. Oh, and uh, shroom lights. <gasps> oh, oh, hi. Hi, bud. I swear I have one for sea turtles, right? Now, I don't think sea turtles actually need water to survive. Why do I only have two? Okay, wait, I only have four? I swear we had more than four. That, that really doesn't seem right. Don't fall in there. Should really build like a animal building soon. And then at some point we should really probably just throw away the copper. <laughs> You see, this is perfect. I don't need to build them bigger areas to live in. No, no, no. I could just start stacking them because that looks so comfortable and nice. He's not looking at me for help or anything. Yeah, I got to be honest about you, Chief. I don't know if I care. Plus, I don't think that you can actually breed squids. Yeah, I don't really care about you. Can I get any other type of fish? Why are they all just white and gray? Huh? <gasps> oh, yo, if you guys can actually drop your tridents, that'd be so sick. Okay, no, no. I said drop it, not throw it uh -huh. like i meant like like drop it on the ground not throw it back you guys get what i'm saying right like i don't think i made that too confusing for him uh -huh. <gasps> yes 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 come here come here come here uh -huh. drop it down low throw it back come on spread your knees come on dang it oh man okay so no trident ah, not lucky would be really really cool if we can actually get one before this entire phase is over you know actually wait why am i storing it like this i, I could be smart i have so much copper, please. Please something else. Simon! Simon, wait! Oh my god, we can actually have other fish for once. Wait, aren't you guys like not exactly the greatest to, to keep in captivity because you you all don't you usually like jump out or something or drown or uh, suffocate i swear there was something about them there there was something funky no 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 it's okay you don't need to walk to the side that doesn't have a railing yet and fall off come on it's nice here you're gonna love it look at our little tower there you go flat yoshi i don't know why but i feel obligated to save every single life form that spawns from that block come here come here come here come here okay i'm pretty sure while he's in my hands he doesn't suffocate but i'm not gonna tell that out <laughs> what oh wait uh this is really awkward uh i can't pick you up or anything um uh australian dolphin i'm so sorry i can put you out of your misery sooner though i'm so sorry <laughs> 
Uh, even then, I don't think I would be able to save them whatsoever because I'm pretty, I mean, well, unless I put like a roof over their cage, but they most definitely would have jumped out. I'm not gonna lie, I need to take a break from breaking this block. I forgot how long every single phase actually takes to get through. And I'm starting to go crazy with just staring at this block and then holding left click. Oh God, no, no. Oh God, this is bad. Oh God, you got out of the, the, the safety hole. Oh, this is so awkward. I would not mind you going off the edge and disappearing into the void just like that. Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> okay, so I know that I complained about breaking that block over and over and it was just really getting to me. So instead, I'm gonna come over here and start breaking all of these blocks, especially if I'm gonna be getting into buildings. So, we, I mean, we have some wood, but yeah, we desperately need to get a whole lot more. The first thing that I wanna actually build is, I think I wanna go through and remove all of these animal pins. We're just gonna have them all on one side for no reason whatsoever. But then we can go to this side and we can actually just start extending them out pretty decently far. Like, I don't know, maybe give them like 10, 15 blocks of space in there. Because I really should be breeding them, especially the sheep, because I'll have to be making a whole lot of beds for the villagers whenever we get to that point. We really should focus on that stuff. My word, I have a lot of dogs and then fox sheep. Interesting. Now, let's see. How did past me do this? So it's just oak slabs and then birch? Okay. I mean, we could probably make them look beautiful. Oh, we could even... Oh, God. Then I'd have to redo every single one of these, which sounds like an absolute nightmare. But we could actually put like some leaves in between every single one of them. Maybe do some grass in there as well. And I'm going to guess that I am not going to be building an animal building for all of these guys for probably like six or eight episodes you know like there's just so much more important stuff to do than to actually just worry about every single one of our animals here and oh my god i look so cool but i think i actually really like that idea not like two blocks like this but maybe if we do some grass leaves grass in between every single one of these it could look pretty fancy you know it, it would look pretty nice i think so let's see if i need to worry about you guys can i like just like keep stacking you guys okay good good you can't suffocate yourselves on anything so that's nice okay wait wait, wait. come here stop trying to make it difficult for me oh my god it actually worked i love the carry on mod so much it's too good okay and then we'll just slap you guys into here okay perfect so now we're just gonna go super duper slow through this so i can actually go through and remove you huh I don't even know how to, oh, that's so interesting. That, because I mean, I wouldn't be down to actually use some kind of grass sod slab. That actually sounds really, really cool. It's just, yeah, I, I don't have silk touch, so I actually can't make this. But man, that would have been kind of cool to just use some like grass slabs, blah, blah, blah. But let's see. So I'm okay with them being this wide. We'll just make them really long. However, I think the center, oh, we'll make this spruce slab. We don't really have that much dirt, so that does worry me. So we can't exactly use that. However, we have a lot of moss blocks and then moss blocks are actually pretty easy to get more of. So I don't mind using these of which i'm pretty sure we can actually use any of these especially oh, i don't know if cobblestone works we'll figure that out when the time comes whatever okay so you be that put you on this side and then smack these down and we put you on top i don't think we need to put anything right here we could just leave this as the regular walkway but i think i like this i i think this is okay and then before we could do anything else okay so let's see you're just three so far i think we just go back seven blocks this should be more than enough wowie would you look at that oh my goodness we have so much room to actually move around now it's just you guys seem to really be enjoying the towers so i think i'll leave you guys like that for a little bit i never made any gates okay beautiful look at that completed area we just oh god oh man yeah we need to do it like 27 times <laughs> okay we are already running into space issues uh hmm okay this is a rough one so i need all of you to come over here and this part is really going to suck yeah i really need to not lose any of these i oh god i'm gonna cry if i lose some dirt okay i'm pretty sure if we go through and i just start using water and then just start breaking all of this stuff unbearably slowly we should be able to get every single one of these dirt blocks back please no 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 i want it i want it oh my god even going this careful, I'm not even getting all of them back. Ugh. There we go. Nice. 
Nice and easy. Nice. Nice. There we go. Yep. Just, just keep coming over here. There we go. Yep. That's what we love to see. Oh, okay. Now we're going to leave these four right here just because I, I think this will fit into the sheep pen. I don't, I don't think I need to move these too far. And then you're going to be moss. You're moss. Oh my God. And then you're the sheep pen. Okay. Yeah. Moss, moss, your spruce. Okay. We barely made it with that. So these two are completely done, but I think I'm just going to leave the animals in here for now until I at least complete all of these. This is getting really rough. So now, am I able to pick up the bottom one and get all of you? Actually, here, let's just move the pigs first. Can I pick up the bottom one, please? No. Okay. Well, I tried. Oh, I just realized an issue. I don't know if I actually have enough dirt to complete this expansion. Oh boy. Uh, hmm. Because I mean, oh God, we have all of these here. Let's try rooted dirt. I'm pretty sure if I just use a hoe on this, it'll actually just make it regular dirt. I think. Okay, I oh, oh, I get something. What is this? Hanging roots. Cool. I have no idea what these are for, but yeah, I'll just use up all of this. Hopefully this will be enough. I really don't want to touch my dirt. Beautiful. Okay, perfect. And then let's just go through and just hoe all of this. Oh wait, oopsies. Because they're sheep and they can be really dumb. Yeah, we need to have you back here for some security for all of our grass. We'll just put the sheep in here in a few days once hopefully the grass grows. And hopefully it goes a lot faster. Now come on over here, little demon birds. Yep, I need you guys out of here. Uh, yeah, have fun over here with all of them. The one thing that I'm curious about, while they're doing this thing, I don't know if they can actually lay eggs. Maybe only the bottom one can. I guess another perk about me building these and then just making it so massive is that at least we'll have a whole lot of area to build the underground section at. So, you know, like, you know priorities. Things are gonna look really cool. Uh, there's so much work to do in here. Huh. But other than the sheep, I think we can actually start moving things back in. Maybe. Actually, no. No, no, no. We can't lay eggs. We have to kind of do it backwards. Oh, oh, very nice. They actually do lay eggs. Okay. Oh, this is not good. Almost completely out of moss so yep i guess we're really gonna have to figure out how to make more of this stuff so i'm just i'm really hoping that i don't need to go and start smelting my cobblestone to get more stone like, i'm really hoping that i don't need to do that and i need more leaves so we can run into multiple issues here first off let's just see if granite actually works with this because like really i just i don't care about granite at all i always try and build with it but it's just so eh you feel me? Oh my god, it actually worked. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting that whatsoever, but sweet. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, for once in my life, we're actually going to be using granite. Huh. I guess, honestly, th this might be pretty fun. If there's ever a section or some huge place that I need to make, like, kind of natural and stuff, maybe we just use moss instead of grass. Because, I, like, I didn't do anything to this whatsoever, and this looks pretty natural to me. So, uh, amazing. And then also, we could just use any blocks that we just don't want anymore. So it's like a perfect double whammy. And then very lastly, we need to go and get ourselves a whole lot of leaves. I think there should be enough leaves. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> I kind of wish that sheep could also just eat moss. Even though, like, I completely understand why they can't. Because, you know, they're just beta males. But it would be kind of nice. Because then we could just, you know, complete that. Move everyone into their new homes. Blah, blah, blah. I'm starting to realize just how massive of a project that I'm doing. Literally just for the animals that I honestly, like, no offense, don't really care about. Because let's see, we got one, two, six already done. We have six towers of the animals right here. So we have now just completed all of theirs. Oh dear god, we haven't even done any of them. And then these guys need to be separated. I only put the goats and the foxes together just because they both hop out uh, all the time. So yeah, that that's fun. But I guess we should actually just work on just moving all of those animals into their own pens already. And then every time that I make a new pen, we'll just start moving the animals over into it. So this one for sure is the chickens. With the amount of effort going into all of these animal pens, you would think that I actually love all these animals. Just imagine how long this would take me if I didn't have the carry on mod. The thing that lets me stack all the animals and then just pick them up like this. Like this is why I absolutely love that mod. But even leaves aren't obsolete with this mod in case you had to move over a ton of animals to a farther location. I'm just able to do this because they're all locked into their own little pen so I can just keep going back and forth. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just yapping right now. Now I don't know about you guys, but I am so much more of a fan of this look compared to this look because this is so 2021 and 2022 as if I've played this mod before, but blah, blah, blah. <laughs> 
Okay, I mean, ideally, we should really probably build this. No, because we can't even build the same thing over there because of the tree farm. Dang it. Because I can see this becoming a very big problem with how many animals we're going to be getting and then just how far of a run. Like, th this will be a marathon whenever I get more animals, especially aquatic ones to where they'll just drown. I mean, I keep saying drown to where they will suffocate if they're not in water. So uh, things are going to get a little interesting. And then speaking of water ones here, we're going to actually build you out of actual blocks that then whenever i put down water it's not going to go through the floor it'll actually stay on top so this should help us out i think this is a nice big brain move now if i'm not mistaken i don't think there's any mob in the game like at all that can figure out how to jump on top of the carpet with like the fence combo right like i don't i don't think so because i would really like to be able to put that on everything so that then i can jump in and out of all of the pens but i'm really worried that some of the animals or some of the mobs are actually smart enough and then i'm pretty sure once i put you here you should fill up this is so hard to do with shaders i think there okay perfect what a beautiful looking swimming pool i had to run back and forth 574 trillion times wait the salmon yes yeah, wait what happened to the salmon maybe that's why i only have gray fish and i could have sworn that i had more than just uh Okay, I don't understand the fish. If we start having issues with fish where they just keep on dying, then I'm just going to repurpose this pen for a different animal. Ah, very nice. Now we can remove this, get some resources back. The difficult part now is what am I going to be using on this side? But maybe we can just repurpose this for the villagers if I just start putting fences everywhere and then I might be a good idea. Yeah, I think I think that'll be a good idea. Why not? Okay, another one done. Now let's go move in all the puppies. I still don't understand why there's only one look for wolves but then when you go and look at all the cats there's like 12 different color combos like i don't know about you guys but i personally believe that there's more than one species of dog and boop you little butthead oh my god i'm so tired of these foxes all they do is keep picking up my items did one of you drop something for it at least or did you just yoink it i know i just need to give them some chicken and then they'll drop what's ever in their mouth now i've been thinking so that's how you know that this is going to be amazing i honestly think that these should should be big enough pens for the animals like i don't expect to have like 500 of every single one of them because then at that point we're just gonna start killing them off i honestly think that we should make this the longest like at least for now and then we should start building this on this side the only thing is i don't know how to make a walkway for it unless we just you know walk through this to get over there but i love having these little walkways it'll be a kind of cool we could build like a staircase going here which then goes up and then it goes to the left and then if we ever need to build anything to the right we can then have that have like a staircase going over there as well just for something you know i don't know it's something new i, th I think i'm down for that just to build like a cool looking staircase going over <gasps> oh and we can use uh bridges oh which for that here i'm we're at least gonna mirror this over onto this side just so that there's some breakage between all the pens so yeah let's go through start making you and then our lovely sheep will be the only things that are weird. <gasps> Wait, we don't need grass here. We can actually just put it here. Because that looks really similar to that. So I don't think we'll ever be able to notice it. Okay, I think yeah, I think I'm done for that one. Okay, there we go. Very nice. <gasps> no! Oh my god. No, get it, get it, get it. Oh my god. <laughs> Ugh. I'm gonna lose my mind over dirt. I wish that blocks wouldn't just drop straight down whenever you break them. I kind of wish that you had somewhat of a chance to actually collect them when you break them below you, you know? Oh, things in the dirt department are getting insanely dire. Okay, so hopefully grass will grow over there really fast. And then I want to split it up so that then once you at least get over here, there's gonna be like a nice huge uh, entrance into this place. The hardest part is going to be actually making you know, a uh, believable walkway over here. God, I really wish that I thought about making it uh, on both sides before I started building all of these because I would have loved to have actually made a nice little walkway over. I mean, we can always just remove one of these and then that's the walkway, but at the same time, like, eh? God, I can't wait until we can go into the nether. Oh, I want to get so much more dirt. So I'm leaving this little strip right here just in case, you know, whenever we want to build over there, we can have like a nice little walkway going over there. I think a three wide bridge should be big enough. You know, we don't want to make it too massive and, you know, just outrageous. And I think this should be tall enough because we don't want it to be super high up and massive. It's just we don't want it to be low enough to where we bonk our heads. So I can still jump underneath this. So I'm very happy with that. 
have you go there, and then I need to go get some bridge stuff, but I think right here's a good spot to actually start the bridge going over, just so we can have some nice pretty railings. Pretty please tell me. Oh, thank God. Okay, so this is starting at the right height for him, which now, okay, at least I don't need to be too scared. Also, just realized that I didn't bring the one important tool that I need for the bridges. What's cooking? Good looking. Aha, there we go. Okay, beautiful. Y yeah, no, I'm not like that. Okay. I love building bridges. Just uh, so simple. <laughs> Now comes the tricky parts, because right here, it's going to be two blocks wide, just like that. However, on this side, because of where I started it, I mean, realistically, it probably should have it go down right here. That would be the smartest, but then I have to, like, redo the bushes. Oh, God, wait. Ah, no, no, no. I, I think we actually should. We shouldn't have it be too different. Also, it's not going to be symmetrical, and that's going to bug me even more. So, actually, all of this stuff that I just placed down has to go away, which please do not fall into the void. You're actually expensive. Then that means, sadly... Okay, so we need to go here. Which, oh boy! Okay, so we have a whole lot of dirt that we need to get back, so that's going to be rough. Uh, hopefully not, though. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this should work out. Nice little centerpiece opening here. Very roughly. Actually, no, not even. Yeah, no. So this side's gonna be one stall smaller than this side over here. But how do I get my dirt back without losing it? Okay. Only lost one, but I'll take that. That's actually not the worst. <gasps> Wait. Woo! And there goes our shovel. So not bad. That lasted the perfect amount. And things are about to get really, really silly. So, God. Okay. So we need to break you. We put you there. I'm going to go four forward. Then, once this one turns into grass, we come back here, break these three, and we're just going to very slowly move it forward. Is this smart? Absolutely not. But is it funny? And that's most likely yes. Anyways, back to business. So now we can start the staircase again, which I'm, I don't know why I'm having a really hard time believing this, but it actually starts here. So then we can very luckily go here, break these three, and then now we get three more to work with, which actually ain't that bad. This genuinely might take the entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> How did I do it over here? Okay, we'll just do the exact same thing as the other side. And then we'll just copy this over, even though we don't have any dirt at all to finish it off. So maybe this wasn't really a mess up. I'm, oh, I'm actually loving this. Yeah, oh, this was not a mess up whatsoever or bad planning. No, no, no. This was a beautiful design decision in disguise. Yeah. However, we're definitely not done yet. So instead of just using oak up there, especially with the railing being a little bit darker, because, you know, it's actual oak uh, logs. I think we can get away with using some spruce. Ooh, okay. So I'm loving this. This looks absolutely amazing to me. I kind of want to put some leaves, because adding some leaves around this would be really nice. Add in some color. It's just, if we do, it's gonna really come out. Oh. Wow. So never mind. Yeah, no, okay. I mean, it would have been really nice to use it, but I'm I'm good. I, I'm good, Chief. Now I believe the bridge is all done. I went underneath it, cleaned it up, so it looks a lot nicer now. And I think I love this look. Like it, it just looks so nice. I'm kind of tempted though to add some slabs underneath the bridge because I don't know if I like how flat it is. God, now that I'm like I'm looking at it. I don't know if I want these. I think it's it just being like that is actually good enough. Ooh, or at the very least for the bridge, what we need to do is just add right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I like that a lot more. Because, I mean, the ones that were just right there, it just felt so out of place. And then by having slabs there, it looks like it's at least connected to the staircases. So I think we're done with that. So we at least have one way of getting over here instead of just, you know, being able to run through this stuff. Which, let's be real, probably how I'm always going to get over here. But now we can at least start mirroring this over here which, oh my god, that's gonna be so much work. Ooh, okay, all pathways are done for now. I should really probably not have these open holes because we already know I'm probably gonna be jumping in those at some point. Not like that, like, I get your mind out of the gutter. Also, how is this almost halfway done and you're still on the first block? That does not really make sense to me. All right, let's see. If I add in, like, you, would that increase your chances of actually moving 
over here faster. So now that I finally have some wheat and seeds from the farm because I finally tended to it, I should probably act like Twitter and treat all of the animals like Gojo and just go around and start breeding, especially the sheep. Very soon, I don't know why I gave it to you, sorry. Oh God, I just edged the sheep. But I will be needing a whole lot of wool. So yeah, definitely need to focus on them. As for you guys, like, is it even like, worth it because like i'm pretty sure i just need one of you but now yeah, i'll be kind here you go you guys can have some wheat go have some fun you know what honestly here let's just go through because you know whenever i'm gonna make more dirt i'll just use up that stuff you know i can always just harvest this because i don't know what i was going for i don't know why i built this if anyone remembers my thought process for that spot i'd greatly appreciate it but um anyways at least now we can come over here oh my god finally you guys are actually growing and then just in case if i were to ever fall off of this section yeah Let's add in some dirt into here just so I don't die. And then let's start working on bringing over some grass, which my God, this is gonna be a long one. That's what she said. At some point, I wanna make this automated to where whenever they drop any eggs, it automatically will just get thrown back in there. Super easy to make, it's just tedious. And 12, okay, allegedly that's the length of all the stuff over there. So I think we should be good now. Woo! Okay, another one done. Honestly, let's just go move in some animals right now. Oh God, it's the fox and the goats. Well, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to build that every single time. Now, basing it off of that little hut over there, I believe we should be fine if I just have a fence gate there, which I don't know why I'm putting a fence gate. I, I guess it's just in case I ever have to get in here, but they shouldn't be able to get out. And then if we just go like this, I think, think we should be fine. I don't think that they'll be able to actually jump out of this. Uh, again, I, you know, I, I could be very wrong and then things are about to get really funny, especially since I know that they're just going to go straight for the chickens. So yeah, like I uh, got so many issues if they actually get out. And boop. now for the fun part, because I don't know how I want to build this roof because I don't want it to be flat like that over there. I really don't like that design. So I'm thinking, what if we just go around with some nice oak slabs, but then, oh, up top, actually here, we could, okay, not like that, but like that. We have some spruce slabs on top of it, just like that, just so there's like some height into the roof. And then just to keep it safe up here, I only need to worry about the ones up here, which I believe that's actually enough light. So we don't have to go super duper crazy with it. And then that should prevent all mobs from spawning in here. And then inside, I guess I'll be kind to them. And yeah, well, I think we actually just have to put them here. And then you could barely even tell that the ceiling or the roof is a different color, but I kind of like it being a little bit darker just so it's stands out away from the fences at least okay please don't make this super duper fun so you're what do i need to like drop it for you i, I swear i'm trying to give it to you i'm not trying to tease you i, I promise you want to take that instead okay thank you actually let's try this out in the cow pen i see this going really wrong if i stack them all up into one pen in there oh wait do you not have anything in your mouth no you do oh, okay yeah you have like a little snowball here eat that no 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 stop running there no never mind uh we're, we're gonna do it all in, in here yeah no mm -mm. yeah i I swear he was going straight for all the chickens. I love foxes. I love them so much. Hi. Yeah. Welcome back to this realm. Thank you. But okay, no. Again, then we'll get the last one once we move all the sheep. Or sheep, the goats. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are you guys lucky? Oh my. Just wait until you see this new haven for you, which all jokes aside, I, th this actually is a night, like a way nicer area for them. Come on. There's no way all of you want to live in here. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Why, hello there, my little headaches. Uh, boo. I'm scary. Ooh, look. I know it's a five foot eight king right outside your door. Please, everyone get away, please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Phew. No, I love goats. I love them so much. No, please, don't come over here. Haha, uh -huh, yep, I already knew you were gonna try. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Push them, push them a little bit more. Come on, here. We can work together. Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> Yes, I love foxes. Oh my gosh, we just work together so well. Okay, now you, can you, can you, can you take one of these? Can you, huh? Yeah, you want to come over here and get some rabbit, huh? No! Oh my god, you little. Okay, come here. I'll chuck you off the edge. Thank you. There, pick up that. Thank you. Okay, you had to spit it all the way outside. Yep, nope, you're not running. Oh, thank god. Okay, we're done with the foxes. Holy moly, guacamole. Can't wait to take a break from all these animals and go back to breaking the block. I need a vacation at this point. At least the next one ones are actually really tame and easy. Wait, where's the yellow one? Oh my God, you guys have been dying. Oh man, I lost the yellow one. Ah. Okay, so maybe it's a really good thing that I am building all of them like a way bigger area to live. So, you know, hopefully they don't die anymore. But man, like why couldn't it have 
been one of the pink or one of the white ones. Oh, man, why did it have to be the yellow one? Alrighty, boys, you're the last ones that I have. It, you are friendly, right? I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay, whew. Oh man, did that brought me back to elementary school of doing that to polar bears in Alaska. Oh, that's gonna be so cute. The polar bears are gonna be right here at the staircase. Okay, that'd be nice. Oh God, no. No, I'm out of it. We were so close. We were so close to finishing up all of the needed pens. Oh, it's so cute going for a walk with my kids. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're finally done. Every single animal has finally been put into an upgraded pen. Everything is so much more big. Looks like things actually have enough space to be moving around, especially the polar bears. My God, just... Four of you have almost taken up the entire pen. But I also need to go and make some more moss because even though we are done with all this, I just want to make the last four pens over here. So then, you know, we're ready for the future. All of that's completed. So I don't have to uh, try and remember how I built this in the future, even though it's very simple. I'm just yapping right now. And goodbye, diorite. And hello, beautiful. For once, I actually don't mind getting diorite, granite. I kind of like andesite. I don't know if I'll ever use that one though. Okay, I know I'm a meal, but can you not drool while looking at me? Thanks. Wow. It is actually wild just how much more space we've added in this one movie. And we're not even halfway done compared to a 50 hours movie. This is why I think this format is a lot better than 50 hours for this series. No, <laughs> again. Oh, uh, we're about to completely run out of several things and we're on the very last one. Well, goodbye, Andesite. It was fun while you were here. Woo! Okay, every single pen has been built. Oh my gosh. Now, the only thing that I need to do is just bring this all the way down there so we have a nice little walkway behind everything. And then it's just going to be really awkward if I need to make more pens in the future, which might happen. Uh, this is most definitely not every single mob that you can get. So yeah, it'll make things entertaining. And done. One humongous building project completely finished. Oh, and I don't think I missed anything. I, I think we're actually completely done with everything. We have four more pins open and ready for more animals, which honestly in the future, uh, what we might just have to do is just start combining some of the animals if I start getting too many of them because yeah, I mean, you know, we can always just tear down a little walkway right there and just keep expanding it. But at some point, this is going to become way too too massive. Oh god, I don't even have any place for bees yet. Ooh, that's gonna be really fun whenever they start showing up. Of which I think this will be enough dirt to complete this. Oh, thank god it is. So that's one area done. And then we just have a, a bit more of a hole over here, which I think we might actually have enough dirt on top of the area out here whenever the grass starts growing. Okay, this one's gonna be tedious, but let's just go through. We're gonna clean up all of this, take out all the birch, and then just put down some oak. Oh, so much better. I'm very happy I decided to do that. And then obviously for this stuff, so this isn't going too well. It's not really matching. So let's just go through. We're going to give it a nice little trim, which... Oh, God. So I don't want to do this. And we're definitely replacing all of that with spruce, just so, you know, it matches all the other leaves. And then for the leaves, was, let's see. Just so this corner right here matches all the other ones, let's not put any leaves over here. So I think this will be a pathway. So if we keep you two and we start leaves here so then we can have the leaves start right here so nice nice i'm liking this and then i think we have the leaves stop right here just so that then like this opening right here can kind of match up with the opening down there i think the redesign of this entire area is now completed other than lighting but you know we'll, we'll get to lighting at some point maybe so building that entire new animal area. Yeah, we're kind of low on some of the wood, but also, you know, it's just the trees were grown. We might as well just go through, start collecting all of these. Uh, okay. Ah, so much better. And wow, look at how open it is. And yeah, no, nah, I'm not going to go through and start clicking on this thing way too much. So let's just make it automated. Oh my goodness, so much better. And then I think it looks pretty decent right there. So I think that's a good forever home. You know, I'll probably make another one down there or I'll just move it. But anyways, at least now we have some resources so we can finally go back to the block. Is that a raw block of iron? Nice. Oh yeah, yeah I'll take that. Much better. Okay, now we can at least start getting rid of all of our copper because god, I have so much to go through. Now for this, very hopefully we can not get attacked. Um, yeah, can I at least get like to the nether? Welcome to sentient life. You're finally moving around. Yep. Oh, man, still no trident. Ah, don't touch me. Nope, no, no, no. I don't want to keep any of you. That's okay. No. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, really? Really good one. Whew, man, I was, I was needing more of them. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. I know how to do this. Okay, so I pick you up with that. And then I, I very quickly run, to, uh, run over here. Pick up you. There we go. Okay, hopefully you don't... St oh, okay, can't go that way. Uh, please do not start suffocating as I almost said drowning. Okay, so I guess when I'm carrying the fish, they actually don't suffocate. What? Just... Oh, you... Uh, are you worth saving? Like, I don't know if you're like the salmon. Uh, No, it, it, just so I have some more fish, I guess we'll save the cod. You know, Battlefield has been pretty lame lately, so yeah, I, I guess, you know. You're not trying to attack them, right? Oh, no. Oh, wow, you're just getting it on. Oh, my God. Oh, my... In front of the children? Oh, my God. God. Huh? Oh, oh, um, no, no, that's fine. Can you actually just die? Die? Please don't give me the debuff, please. Oh, okay. Well, the second I mentioned that, and then, then you had to give it to me. Okay, so don't like hitting you. Maybe if I shoot you. Oh, so much better. Okay, good. I won't take any damage. Yum, nom, 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 nom. Really? Really awkward, uh, awkward. Oh my god, I'm messing up so much. Okay, thank you. Whew. Really fast, you seem to be enjoying the video and I'm really close to 2 million subscribers. You see, if I reach that, I'll use a face cam in my horror videos. Please and thank you for subscribing. I'm so sorry, I I literally cannot help you at all, but I can put you out of your misery faster. Ow, don't hurt me. Wait, dolphins can attack? Wait, since when? The one thing that I've noticed, especially with that guardian spawning in, is that none of these blocks are actually breaking. So, I think think I actually don't need to worry about that. So maybe nothing will actually remove those blocks? So I guess it was actually a really good decision to make that. <laughs> okay, please be the last one, please. Ugh, you take so long to get through. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Give me those items. No, 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 no. No, no, please be friendly. I mean, obviously you're not gonna be friendly, but please don't be too bad of enemies. That's really bad. That's really bad, really bad. They can, and then, oh god, I think that they can actually like somewhat control where they want to walk what if you know <laughs> call me crazy what if i just stand over here and then maybe they'll suffocate to death you know i don't think guardians and miniature guardians can actually stay out of water forever right i feel like at that point that'd be a little bit too wacky crazy you know okay well it, it doesn't look like any of them are suffocating yet it just seems like they're having a really fun time doing some kind of chant or something i don't know well if i can actually hit you yeah never mind we're just gonna kill you guys oh my god get down from there get down from there get down from there no 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 okay good yes off my platform yeah oh, don't shoot me don't shoot me don't shoot me don't shoot me okay don't think anything got up i think all of the other enemies are contained and they really do not seem happy in there can i pretty please get a trident you know i'm just saying i would not be like, out against it i didn't mean a trident like that i meant like if you could drop one on the ground for me to use man still no trident i can never get lucky you see you're interesting so like that whoa oh, okay i thought you were actually giving off like a blue like tint everything but no it was just to see glass i'm kind of curious if i actually can keep you alive like are you actually gonna stay alive in here and you're already trying to become a bird okay uh we'll, we'll see if he stays alive if he stays alive until you know the next time that i get an animal then you know we'll actually keep all the uh the glow squid why not Dang it. Ah, we need another yellow one to spawn in because even if I breed these guys, I'm not going to be getting a yellow. Oh, dear God, not you again. Okay, we need to stop meeting like this, okay? I know we had something in the past, but I I have someone now, okay? And I don't care about you anymore. I, I love them, not you. Oh my God, I actually killed you before you gave me that debuff. Let's go. So off the top of my head, I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure after the ocean one, it's either going to be hills or it will be the nether. But I'm really hoping that it's going to be the nether because my God, is this going to allow me to do a whole lot more once I can make a nether portal actually here wait this is a faster way to get rid of you guys because like i really don't even care about the item that you give so there you go have fun well he seems to be having fun like see he's already jumping with joy like he might be screaming for me to help him out and be like ah let me out no i'm, I'm gonna die ah but you know i think that's just a front like i think he actually really enjoys it Ooh, i'm like yeah i like maybe if i make like a giant aquarium that might be cool well uh oh so i think the reason why i keep losing salmon cod and now that glow squid which really sucks because i didn't even get the item from him is be i guess there's something in minecraft where it's like marked as like uh like a pet mob or a farm mob like chickens sheep pigs blah 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 where they don't despawn when you're not there whereas all of those mobs like cod salmon and glow squid are more of wild animals it's where you can't farm them so maybe mojang just deemed them as like unworthy to stay so i guess whenever i see them is you know kill them oh my god wow okay you have to be the last one right oh my god yes yes thank you no 
phenomenal work. Okay, finally the next phase. Hoping to God it's going to be the nether. Red deserts. Ah. Okay, if we're lucky because it is the desert, maybe we can actually get lava. Or if I get lava, and then I'm just going to start making obsidian because I really just couldn't care less about lava because, you know, once I go to the nether, if I ever need more lava, then, you know, I could just go get it. I mean, for a red desert, it's pretty white. Oh god, it's you. Oh, don't look at me like that. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, make me look like the weird one. I actually almost broke that one, and I'm very happy that I didn't. Okay, well, this is almost inside of here. Of which... I can add you to out here. Oh my gosh, we're, I think we're actually gonna have enough dirt, like, from all of our little pillar thingies. Oh, wait. Oh, I actually could save you. I'm trying to think of a good way to actually, like, get you to shoot things i'm pretty sure it will work um hmm, okay i'm trying to think of a way because you're just gonna keep shooting me like that but if i get you to shoot enough oh you are name tagged raleigh Bariella the pillager i don't know why but i just i feel really inclined to save him i can fix him okay so hi yes get into the boat not yet not yet not yet not yet oh wait oh that's right yeah you can't yeah, you can't hit me when we're in the butt. Wait, but are you picking up your own arrows? You're not. Oh my god, this is perfect. Okay, so here, yeah, th this is what we'll do, okay, Chief? So, we're going to just stay in this boat, okay? You're never gonna hit me because you're just gonna be a, a really good boy like that. And then, yeah, I'll just, you know, just keep mining the block. Oh my god, this th th this is a lot slower. Oh, oh boy. No! No, not you guys, no! Oh my god, no, wait, did you just run off the edge? Wait, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. What is in your mouth? Oh, you guys do have blocks. <gasps> no, wait, where did the other one go? Oh god, it didn't go to the chickens, did it? Uh, uh, god, okay, yeah, no, no, I, I have to put you in there. Okay, whatever, I don't care if he has an item in his mouth. Where's the other one? <gasps> you. Okay, thank you. Oh god, I saw your head. Whoop. What are you carrying? Okay, another useless block, don't care. I actually have to stay alert for this because there's going to be foxes. What? No, no, go, go in there, though. God. <laughs> uh, uh, I love foxes. Uh, I love them so much. Uh. Oh, I hello there, ow. I don't know if I can actually, ow, keep you. Maybe because you're spawned in and you're not actually, like, naturally spawned in. So, like, maybe I can actually keep you, Griffin. Uh, I mean, uh, might be good trades for a little bit. I don't think you ever refresh your trades, but I mean, at the very least, I'm down to keep them. Like, maybe we can have, like, a cool wandering trader building or something. Has anyone ever mentioned to you that you have way too much ammo? Why am I shaking it? Why, why am I trying to attract the attention of everyone? What am I doing? Oh my god, dude. I didn't know I was chill like that. <gasps> oh, we have a villager. Oh, this is big. Okay, no, 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 no. Gene, 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 stop it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, stop trying to shoot me. You know what? Yeah, you can stay with the sheep, okay? Uh, I honestly wasn't expecting to get you guys that fast. Uh, okay, so that might make things a little bit tricky. But how am I getting villagers before the nether? Well, this is a little awkward because i'm not done with the other one uh okay, well, at least let me get all the items please do not go into that boat okay so hi buddy um yeah i want to get you like right over here if that's possible don't don't shoot me just get in the boat please don't be another one. Oh no no it's just stuff that's like a whole lot worse okay at least i can hit all of you and you can't touch me whatsoever so that's really nice greatly appreciate that at least it's just not more pillagers Ooh, oh oh <gasps> Oh my god, we actually have bamboo now, though. Okay, actually not a bad chest. What? Oh, come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, no, 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 no. You're not one with a bow. You're not one with a bow. Uh, okay, since you don't have a bow, bow, I don't think I care to keep you. Okay, I'm sorry, okay? But I I have to get rid of your friend. I know, don't try and shoot me. I know, you're so grumpy, but we have to get rid of Jane Z Zook the Vindicator. Okay, gotcha, yeah, sorry, it's super easy to read your name through all these blocks oh oh god you're, you're already aiming to shoot me god at this rate i think for the rest of the series i'm just gonna be sitting in boats trying to get those villagers to actually get rid of all their arrows and again like i know i don't need to it's just i think it'd be really cool to actually keep all of the pillagers so oh and not all of them but the ones that actually have like uh crossbows you know I see you want. Wait, no, no, no. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's so many shooting. I think the other one is. Yeah, yeah. He's still in here. I can see his little bubbles. Okay. Aw, see? You're a nice little collection of wandering traders. So I've been thinking, you know, and that's how you know it's going to be really good. So once their crossbows are gone, I don't think that they actually move or like they won't chase me anymore. And that's starting to worry me as, you know, there's all these staircases, which, you know, I might be able to push them if they don't move at all. But I'm wondering if I should just bring them up here 
here now, but then I would actually just have to sit here and do absolutely nothing all day. Maybe chop down trees. Okay, I'm sensing a whole lot of animosity from you guys. You, you know, we, we, ah, oh my God, dude, we a sniper? Donkey, what you doing in my swamp? Okay, bud, this is gonna be really fast. Okay, okay, good, good, good. I can carry you. Okay, don't shoot the donkey. Oh my god, now they're shooting each other. I, I just heard them get hit. I see so many things going wrong if I don't get rid of their arrows immediately. Oh my gosh. I wish that there was a way for me just to like sneak into their inventory and just, you know, yoink it. There's no way you actually just killed the donkey. Oh, okay, good, good. He's right there. Oh, okay, god, I thought you guys actually killed him. Oh, okay, that, that, okay, that, was, that was an aimbot, aimbot hacker. What if I start naming all the animals after, like, subscribers or, like, the funniest comments? Would you guys be into that? Okay, I don't think the other donkey got shot at all, so I think we're still good. Gotta be honest, why am I collecting every animal? Like, I, I always do this in one block, but, like, I, I don't know why. Oh, don't, uh, don't shoot each other. And you're finally making progress, bud. Let's see, how's this one doing? Oh my gosh, yes, amazing. Okay, so I'll, I'll come back and I'll, you know, add in the leaves and finish off those hedges later. You son of a, you actually killed him. Oh my God. Oh, but Skies, that's because you put them too close to each other. Yeah, but if I put him over there in that corner, then he would just keep on shooting me. Hey, oh God. Oh God, there's four. Um, Jeez, how are we doing this? I kind of feel like bringing them I uh, and they're they're killing each other now. Okay, yep, they're I think they're actually trying to kill each other. Uh, I think it's best if we try to get them up here and we just hide them in our little tree farm and then I just take one down at a time whenever it's time to uh, get rid of all of their arrows. Yeah, please follow me, buddy. Come on. There you go. A little bit more. Come on. Come on. There you go. Okay. Now, the big trick here is actually uh, to not get shot, not get shot, not get shot. No, no, stop it, both of you. Oh my God, please. Okay, there you go. Just follow me, follow me, follow me. This one put him in the forest is to hopefully not let them. Oh my God. Ah, is to not let them see each other. Ow. Did you, did you just do a jump shot at me? Okay, you don't need to disrespect me like that. Come on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Plus, I don't think, even if you can shoot over here, I don't think any of you actually have the range to hit any of these guys. Ow. Are you kidding? Hitting? Who shot me? Wait, you? You right there. You actually have the range to hit me. Oh god, don't, don't worry. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be so worth it to have these pillagers. Oh, maybe we can put them in like hanging cages. Oh my god, wait. Wait. Oh my god, you're actually out of arrows. I just realized that. Oh my gosh. Holy, finally, one done. Okay, so let's see. What happens if I break this? Okay, so you kind of just pose like you're a really shy, cute girl and we're on our first date. So here, let's push you this way. Hopefully none of the others shoot you or else I, I that'll actually like make me really mad. Okay, then you get into that boat. I take you over here and then I think we'll just start lining them up just like this and we'll just store all of them over here. My biggest fear, that lovely little butthead down there is going to spawn in an iron golem. And then if the iron golem doesn't spawn in one of these, he's just going to go over there and kill every single one of them so let's just save ourselves a tragedy you know i got a strong feeling that it will happen so uh yeah we'll just use birch i don't feel like making more i think this should be good enough i i don't think an iron don't you dare shoot me i don't think an iron golem should be able to reach them it's it'll just get a little tricky once you know everything gets a whole lot bigger i can't get out of here, <laughs> here. You, you seem really shooty so let's actually just work on you how about that okay you seem really lonely you seem really grumpy very apparently you know you 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 want attention oh god don't be more don't be more oh thank you okay it's just llamas hey hey uh scott and uh the other person yeah but this makes you really sad huh yeah you don't have these llamas to protect you huh oh god please just be one in there i I, th I think it's just one just need to get into there okay don't shoot don't shoot don't shoot okay, don't shoot each other now okay and you my friend honestly i, I really just don't care here yeah you can go right here okay so I don't think you'll be able to shoot me from all the way down here. Oh my god, I think you can actually shoot me. Uh, why couldn't they all just be as friendly as you? Just you know, sit there holding your own hands, not shooting. Hi, buddy. Yeah, shoot one more time. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. Don't hurt my donkey. Ow. His wife is a dragon. Okay, see, you just gotta threaten him like that, you know, and then they'll stop shooting donkey. Funny enough, I don't think he's moved at all ever since I placed him in here. It's like a nightmare now every single time that something spawns in because it's like, oh god, is it gonna be something that, you know, I have to put back into a boat? 
boat and then just spend 50 days getting rid of its arrows? Or is it going to be something that I could just bring to the pins out here? What if I put something in with the polar bears? Like, are they going to be friendly with the animal? Oh, nice. We have a white, a tan, and two oranges. Nice. Hello? <gasps> oh, another villager. Why, hello there. No, no, no. You don't want to. You don't want to. Don't go. Do not go over there. You don't want to go over there. Uh, uh, use you as a meat shield. Uh, take the hit for me. Okay, well, you know, I could start, you know, breeding you guys, you know, Boomy and Bryce. But I kind of, I, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't think I need to start on villagers just yet. Actually, how about this? We'll keep on mining this until Budhead McGee over here is out of arrows. And then after that, that's when we'll go and get to work on the villagers. As much as I'm dying to start refreshing trades, I really don't care to do that right now. <laughs> Oh, dear God. No, no, it's another one. Now, uh, let's see. Am I going to be able to get you over there to the spruce trees? I like how I'm actually just like creating traps for myself. Please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Just hit the boat. Not him. Hit the boat. Not him. Oh, God. Stop hitting him. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. That's actually sick. Dude, I I think I've messed around with frogs once. I'm also scared of them because I'm, I don't know what kind of animals they eat, but I know that they love to just devour mobs. Oh, my God. God. Okay, now, Kaylee, I need you to listen very carefully, okay? I need you to know that I don't like you, okay? I, I, I really wish that you weren't here, okay, bud? Oh, dear God, just get in the boat. Thank you. I think for your safety, because if I bring you anywhere over there, you will die. Let's just put you over here in the birch trees. Oh, dear God. Um, okay. Give me the items. Oh, oh my word. Um... What? what 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 was that noise why why do you need to make that okay so this can be a, a little interesting because realistically i don't think i actually need to kill all of the uh, the monster party mobs i'm pretty sure i can actually just put them in a boat and save them which i think i'm gonna do whenever we start getting these zombified piglins just because like those are really funny to keep my word you guys have a lot of health and then i would keep this monster guard but eh, i already have so many of them i just i, I don't care oh thank god it's just a donkey wait i can jump underneath slabs to make me go out faster oh my god you're kidding oh i can zoom through those okay so yeah i never knew that nice oh that is a whole lot of red uh, thank you playboy cardi okay my little honey buns please just notice all of the arrows in between your legs I feel like we can work this out, okay? Like, aren't your hands hurting? Aren't they tired? Here, hold my hands. Your hands look really, really tired. Come on, you don't need to play this anymore. You don't need to put on this front. Come on, I, come on. I know we're perfect for each other. Okay, I don't know what I'm going for. <laughs> oh my God, please no, 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 no. Oh my God, why did you guys have to come back? Uh, come here, don't wanna get shot. Oh God, don't tell me you took something good. Okay, good, just grant it. So to make things worse, I'm pretty positive that there's another fox somewhere and I don't know where they ran off to. See, I, I could be going crazy, but uh, but I don't think I'm going crazy. I'm not on my Joker arc just yet, but I don't... God, I don't think there's any other fox. <gasps> oh, I heard it. Yes. Okay, here. We just need to go get rid of you. Oh my goodness. Finally. Thank you, Trist. Okay, so... Actually, well, let's make it easier. We're just going to take you over here so I have to do less pushing. And look, now you can be with your friend, uh, Rally. Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. I think I want to be smart about this. Okay, just so we don't have to take up so much space with all these boats, let's actually just push you into this one over here. Yeah, because then, like, whenever I'm going to move them, I'm just going to break the and I'll just start pushing them around. Because I, I still need to think of what I want to do with them. I kind of want to do like, oh, maybe if I get some name tags, I can make them go upside down and then we have it like they're hanging everywhere. And not not in a weird way, okay? Not not like that, but like, don't make that face, Mr. Fox. It's not weird, okay? It's going to look really cool and normal. But now that I'm finally done with that second villager, my God, we have so many to go through. But I kind of want to work on villagers now. I think at least hopefully for this movie, we can make it decently far on them. So then the next movie, we should hopefully, you know, we can maybe start on some trades with them, make an iron farm. Maybe this movie. I don't know yet. Okay. Hi, guys. Am I going to be able to come through here and just get some leaves? Don't touch me. You can be friendly. I'm literally saving your lives. Ah, this is not how you show appreciation. You're never joining face clan. Just give it up. Okay. You're not a good shot. Oh my God. They really did not like that comment. No, you're not going to be getting a pocket sage. Okay. Just give up on Valorant. Stop. Now for the villager area, we're just going to build it over here. I need to not have this straight drop off point you know not really feeling too safe with it and i think for this area this is strictly going to be just for breeding villagers so we don't need to actually make it that massive so i think just going like nine by 17 like this should be 
decent. You know, this should be big enough, I think. Okay, wonderful. So it's nothing so far, but... God, did I just put down tough for no reason? Because I need this to be a walkway because I want to put some plants and greenery around this. Ooh, that's rough. Okay, so we might be changing up our game plan a little bit. Originally, I was gonna go for a castle or like a nice stronghold and then just make it look like they're all just trapped inside against their will, which like, you know, they're still gonna be trapped in there against their will. It's just, it's not gonna look as good now. So we should be safe with just gates like that. Don't think that they can get through them. The only thing that I'm worried about is them getting smart enough to go onto this and then walking over. And you know, it looks like, uh, pretty aesthetically pleasing, maybe. Ooh, and then yeah, maybe we can have it like that and then we go inside. Okay. I I think I like this. It, this is nothing at all of what I actually had planned, but it, it works. Because now we can go to all of the corners and start adding in these nice spruce slabs. So at least now when we come up here, we're not going to fall off and die. But oh my gosh, that is such a perfect like staircase opportunity right there. I wasn't planning on doing it over here. I was planning on doing it right here. But like, oh my gosh, past me made this so perfect for staircases to branch off. We're going to embrace the modded side. So if I put you there, oh. Oh, perfect. Okay. So I can make this look pretty. Don't worry. Okay. We're, this is totally not how it's going to go. So instead we break you. Okay. So you go there. Why do I have to jump for you? Huh? Oh God. Okay. Don't worry. That That's still fixable. Okay. So then now to make things even more complicated and stupid. Okay. So let's put water here. Please, for the love of God, give me it back. Thank you. So perfect. And then originally I was going to keep the slabs here. So, you know, it was going to match the top part, but since we have to jump, uh, kind of useless. This really scares me. So then we put stairs right here and now I can go up. Okay, perfect. Wow, I really hate the sound of foxes. That, that, that is a literal nightmare. Uh, that is just a nightmare fuel. And then we replace the little vertical slabs with some spruce wood. So then it matches all the other sides. And now we need to work on this section. I don't want to have any holes anywhere, okay? I don't want to have any uh, percentages of me dying. You know, I'd, I'd much rather not fall off the map, uh, at least until I get some elytras, you know? We actually just put you there, which like kind of technically gives the same outcome as a vertical slab, like somewhat. Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, and then for a cheap little fix we can then put a vertical slab there so boom it covers up the hole and one more and then we should be good and then oh yeah you go like that okay and then we go get the moss carpets and then boom wow would you look at that we just have grass right here and then you go on top hide that okay wait wait wait, wait. the me that's in my head is so right so actually here we're gonna break these and then we'll just place those and oh my god dude it it just looks so much more complete what if i put this on top i mean like maybe because i can also also put this on top of those so not this bottom one but i could put that on top of these and this might be fine just for more green you know because like i don't want everything to look so dead like a modern warfare 2 graphics you know uh, like i kind of like this i'm not gonna lie I'm, I'm kind of digging this but i don't know i don't know why i just always feel like leaves that are just like this are just so empty and naked and it's just like a eh? but i think i like this I, I think we're done here i don't think i need to touch up anything else did i just accidentally cook something that's like good oh and then we can like walk across you know like oh yeah yes queen slay and hello you inferior birds yes come get some seeds oh dear god there are so many hearts you think it's my birthday the joke is is that my birthday is on valentine's day in case you didn't get that and now we need to work up here so very obviously we're just gonna do like a little bridge thing across this which hey would you look at that i have a little bridge thing so here we could no not like that okay well mm. The bridge has the right idea. I just, you know, wasn't really hoping for it to be a box. Ooh, and then we could put like these nice little pathways right in front of it, just because like, why not? Okay, so I wanna make this all a planner, but we're not gonna stop right here. Instead, now we're gonna be using a lot of these vertical slabs because why not, you know? I don't know why, it's just, oh my God, this looks so good. Hmm, okay, wait, wait, okay. What, what if I make it like one? Really? You know, bad okay wait, i think we need to fill up that entire thing and then we'll be able to tell if those leaves are good or not i oh god i wish that they didn't have that top part i wish that it was just this section all the way around it so it's a little bit lower than that like what, what if i added on this 
I think I'm liking this. Like, we're not gonna add these everywhere. Like, maybe only, like, in between the animals and then just, like, these going down there. But, like, I'm not gonna add, the like, these hedges around this because I think this looks completely perfect, you know? Like, I don't think I need to add anything to the centerpiece anymore. I'd love to see what you guys think about the hedges, but I think I like the hedges. I, I think that's a good look. So before we go crazy with that, let's just go and finish up the other designs and then we're gonna start attacking the entire base. So then today, I think I finished roughly all of our designs around this place. And then for the corner, so since the, the little vertical slabs can't actually go into corners like this, so I think if we just go to all of the corners and we just place them with staircases, like this part right here, eh. I kind of like it, not really, but at least it will, you know, do the, the corners really nice right here. So I think this design is completed. We now just have to do this stuff, and I am really scared because that means that I'm going to have to go back into the forest over there and try to chop down more leaves while getting shot at. So that's going to be fun. Ow, please stop. I'm arrows intolerant something. L lactose intolerant, but towards arrows. Uh, they give me big owies. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like it when I'm angry. Yeah, exactly. You got scared oh my god this ow god this is probably what it's like to be on a period huh you're just randomly getting hit by all directions into your size stop give me ow oh my god don't no 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 okay wait, okay wait, wait. The, the joke's over okay a little a little bit too low for comfort now so not too bad on leaves but i already know i'm going to need a metric ton more of all of this stuff so if i can actually just go through this very fast and then just break down all of the oak trees without hopefully hitting one of them ow uh yep like i I need to actually get behind some kind of cover. Hit me one more time and then, oh, okay. Okay, now hit me one more time. Oh, okay. Can I say the joke first? So we'll just let those grow, but hopefully we can do some damage with the amount of leaves that we got. Hey, not bad. Okay, yeah, almost four of these. Never mind. Okay, maybe we don't need more out leaves. So funny enough, I actually had enough leaves to finish off all of these. Now I actually have enough dirt to completely fill in this hole. I, I kind of like not being able just to see the entire base but i also really really want to try and add something for like ceilings and roofs around here because i feel like that would be a cool touch but i think the more important thing is to finally start focusing on villagers which i need beds for them because we really should be making an iron farm soon oh but it's a good thing we got a whole lot of this oh also let's just start growing the bamboo right now i don't know why i'm waiting on this okay i know everyone calm down calm down i know you all want some of this but here you go we're gonna very perfectly so oh wow i i don't know how i completely forgot i had all this wood okay so we're gonna make four beds and then what we have left over we can make some white carpet so that now very hopefully the sheep won't jump out, but I can now get in here without having to worry about breaking any of the fence. But Janie, who here, you come with me. Why are you doing that? Wait, no, you usually do that when there's a job block. You can't get out, right? Okay, phew. It's like, if you can, I'm just gonna put carpet in front of that and block you in. And then come here, boomy. And then, why, hello there, you two little lucky lovebirds. Please, for the love of God, just tell me you can fill up all of the beds in there. That, that was a lot of bread. What if I just pretend that I'm actually into getting shot? And then you guys will just, you know, hopefully be encouraged to not do it anymore huh how about that and finished so i believe i hit every single bush around here i think they all have these nice little leaf uh, walls on top of them which i think i like this a lot more so now it makes it like a little bit harder to see everything so it's not so flat and kind of an important thing over here is how they can actually shoot me all the way down here like these guys are just absolute snipers they're just doming me across the map it's insane so now when they try to shoot me like this at least now i can actually be safe behind a wall and i'll also, boom, look at that. See that wall right there? Wow, that if you actually line that up perfectly, he would have been able to hit a pig. So it is added protection, at least for right now, until you know I don't have any more issues with them being able to shoot. And then speaking of shooters, well, it actually looks like you guys are making villagers. That's really cool. <laughs> nice, the feast is almost ready. So we almost have food for the nether whenever you know we can go there. Huh? I would you mind like getting away from specifically this block, please? Oh my god, wait, they're all... Oh, that's right. Wait, did I install a mod that names every single one of them? I completely forgot. <laughs> 
Wait, you're kidding? All of that food and you guys only made three of them? Wait, really? Come on, surely you got more steam in you and... Okay, you guys are already going to bed. Oh, here, can you can you wake up and get... Not the kid, not the kid, not the kid. Oh my God, who, who grabbed it? <sighs> oh no. Oh no, it's already starting. Ah. Uh, oh, hello there, Destiny. I love your second game a ton. Um, That... This can genuinely be a problem now. Uh, I really hope that I actually put you guys... God, you, you should be safe. I mean, for the most part, you know, like I don't really care to like kill these guys and just keep on collecting the iron but maybe i can get lucky enough before you start moving and become sentient and i can just knock you off into the void yeah that's an issue if you guys don't mind can you actually just spawn them like inside of here so that they don't wander around my base just for now you know once, once i raise up all of the pillagers into their uh, forever homes and you know you can spawn as much as you want Alrighty, boys it's time again okay so please don't shoot me please please don't shoot me don't don't do it Oh my god, calm down. This is not the finals. Oh my god, please stop it. Oh my god, you're not getting onto a professional org. Just chill. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that genuinely could have been the end of the world. Oh my god. Okay, yep, things are going swell. God, I love building with water buckets. It's so nice. Oh, skies, you're making a bamboo farm. Why not just go and make some scaffolding, man? How about you shut up, little Billy? Uh, I, oh god, how do I get up? Oh, wait, 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 here. Okay, so we do that, and then... Please, 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 please. Oh, yes, goodbye. Whoo, okay, thank god. Oh my lord, I hate doing that every single time. It never gets easier. Here. But it's so worth it. Look at how pretty this looks when you can't see through the leaf blocks. Oh, God, I love it. And perfect. So I've managed to go around and I collected enough wool to at least put a white carpet on the, the back and the front of every single one of these pins. So regardless of how, where we are, we can now just jump in on either side, go through the pins if we ever need to. Starting to focus on growing some bamboo so we can hopefully, you know, pretty soon use them to start decorating some of these areas because I would like to add even more, I don't know, just stuff on top. And then my plan over here, which this might not look too pretty, but I kind of want to use a lot of birds because I have so much of this wood and this is just gonna be a nice little hallway that goes around maybe connects a little bit over there because I think I want to wrap this and then have it connect somewhere around here and then this is where we're gonna have just all of our villagers for trading which that's that's gonna be an insane one that's gonna be a whole lot and then just extending it a little bit then it connects over to the animal pin area and hello uh, how are you doing snap engine gorgeous name while well, you guys are really good at this <laughs> yeah nope that's okay you can't be here buddy but um See you next fall. Boop. There you go. At least now he can go all the way down there with some like rage just to like encourage him to go on. Now we have a huge hole problem and um, I feel like I need to fix this. Can't really leave this. <laughs> Lord knows that I will fall through it. I and mean, then I'm cooking so far, but I think I'm finding a design that I like for this. I'm trying to make it a lot fatter and just like a lot wider than what I did for over here. Basically the same design, just slightly different. No, it's so much fun never bringing enough resources. So I have to constantly run back here and just always grab more and keep on making. No, do I learn? No, no, that would be too smart. And then I think another really funny thing is how I made all of this spawn proof. Like I can't put any lights down and I really don't like that because I don't like how dark everything is. God, we really need to unlock lanterns soon. Oh, I can make everything look so much prettier with lanterns instead of having to use torches. But for the most part, it's looking nice. I'm liking this, you know, it didn't take me too long to cover up everything. I don't think think i need to touch up anything else probably should touch up this uh tranquility whoa let's see am i able to actually put you in here like how would i go about that oh actually wait 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 okay not that way not that way oh my god no 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 i do not need you walking towards my pillagers please there with him in there are you guys going to stop trying to spawn them in like do you feel safe now that he's in there with all of you Ooh. okay i think the bridge is done and do i go through and i add this along all of these just so it matches all up. Um, hmm. Actually, here, let's just see what it looks like first because I think this will actually look really, really nice. And then we can actually just leave this open for no reason whatsoever, actually. So then let's see if I do it on this side. Do I still like it? Oh, no. Oh, this is getting bad. Oh, I'm getting really, really low on spruce. Ooh, I don't like that. And I really don't want to go and collect wood in there, huh? I want to go towards my pillagers. We need to make a box for them or something. I can't leave them at my trees. 
Oh, it's a little kitty. Aw, who are you, Jelly Lorem? Aw. I guarantee you at least like half of you thought I was gonna hit that cat off the edge, huh? Can I actually pick you up? Oh, I can't. It's very weird that you're not running away just like every other cat in Minecraft, but here, uh, maybe the villagers will enjoy you. Uh, you're probably a lot safer in there. Now, welcome to my beautiful bridge. Ooh, so fancy and nice. Ooh, maybe in the next 100 days, I'm going to go through and just completely focus on making everything just more busy up top just so it's not so open like this. Or maybe we like this, you know, maybe we're fans of this. Oh, no. Now I'm going to have cats running around everywhere. Oh, I love you, villagers. Love you guys so much. No, no, please. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't cats go after fish or chicken? Chickens in this? Ow. Oh, well, the chickens seem fine. The fish are surprisingly still alive. Okay, yep, going good. Going good. Okay. Okay, if I can very hopefully build this without any of them trying to shoot me, I'm looking at you. Please don't shoot me. So my thought is, is that we're just going to build this out of leaves because with leaves, at least I can actually just come back, recollect them super fast. You know, I just care about efficiency now. So what we're going to do is just build very tiny little cages for them. And then, since these are also air blocks, I don't actually have to care about, you know, them suffocating or anything. I just need it so that they don't shoot me. And then I know I'm always needing leaves, but this should be completely fine because as soon as I have them out of just shooting range, then, you know, I can just go collect more. Now it's like a horror game. Where did I keep you? Who's going to jump out at me? Oh, this is actually working perfectly. I kind of wish that I can get it. Oh, maybe if I make these slabs, like maybe I can make it so that they shoot at me, but wait, no, that might actually work. I need some faster way to deal with all of them instead of just going one by one. I only had five this entire time. I swore I had like 20 of them with how much that they were hitting me. I believe I've moved every single one of them out of here. I don't know why Mr. Fox told me that that was going to be such a smart idea just to put them in the trees. I don't know why he ever convinced me of that. Not a good move, okay? But whenever I'm ready, I'll just come back, swap out these with some slabs, and then we'll see if we can get them all just to start shooting at me, unload on me. Not like that. And then we can hopefully finish up all of the pillagers and then get them into their forever homes. Now on the more important side, oh my gosh, I can actually go around and collect all my wood. Oh, finally. So now my idea with this, so it's a huge bridge, pretty long, but I want to mirror this exact design to this side over here. And then by having it right here with the villagers, so it should be really fast, really easy to bring them across. One thing that I just realized though, as I was building this bridge, I don't have any bees and I don't have any honey. I might end up losing some bees, but I think what we should do is have like a section Maybe we'll have like two beehives, like one on each side, and then all of the villagers go past it. Maybe that'll be okay, because I don't know where else to put a beehive in here. So I think the only logical thing is to have the beehive over here, since we're going to be using it for all of the villagers. Okay, so it might look really confusing right now. Like this, this is not finished whatsoever. However, I think this is a good enough size. What I'm thinking is two walk space. This is where the job block goes. Then this is where the villager stands. This is behind behind them so that they're locked in. And then we have one block of walk space right behind them, just so it's like nice and compacted in here. I don't want some super duper massive place for them. I don't know why I don't just make another crafting table and put it wherever I'm building. I don't know why I'm deciding to always run back here. Like it, it's really not smart. Like it's a really stupid move. I understand it's a stupid move, but I just keep doing it. Well, I'm being honest, I think it's just Mr. Fox's fault. You know, I, I think it's, uh, I think it's like entirely his fault, just like why I I took damage there. Okay, see, perfect. I don't know why I always make these so difficult to follow. I'm literally my own worst enemy. Oh, is this why all the foxes keep screaming and they're all getting like really mad? Oh my God, please stop going over here, Fred. There we go. I don't know why you guys keep spawning in, but uh, there you go. Yeah, Fred, yeah, you can stay in there. Wait, are the other three still in there? No. The, oh mm, man, okay. Uh, at the very least, the chickens are still alive. So here's what we're working with so far. The only downside side is that I don't see myself being able to actually like round this off and complete the design for at least like, I don't know, maybe 500 days something like that because yeah we just have to keep on extending it for all of the librarians maybe at some point like maybe after this one we actually just continue the pathway down that way and then we can have some blacksmiths we have uh, armor smiths uh, any other kind of villager that we need just so we can have all the librarians going this way and every other one that we need is going that way i'm really hoping that i remember that uh if you could leave a comment you know, like just telling me that that'd be really awesome because i know for a fact i'm not gonna remember that and that's gonna suck so this is the design that i've come up with uh, Oh... 
maybe that's all right you know uh, it, it'll make everything look kind of futuristic i guess but the thought behind this is that then i can at least click right here instead of having to like jump up or like clicking at their heads whenever i want to trade so until we actually get some honey so i can replace the floor with that and then i can lower everything down to only one block you know this is kind of what i'm thinking i'm, I'm mainly just going just for you know accessibility and we should really probably focus on actually getting some kind of trades in right now or at least just moving villagers over here and then in the future i'll go for trades it's just we have a lot of them right now and they're not going to be making any more villagers so just so we don't have to like wait in the future yeah we should really at least start moving them to like i don't know like a box or something <laughs> who's ready for forever trading oh hello there cheryl oh i hope you were no one's crush hi can you access this or are you just gonna make it awkward oh wait i can do that oh i didn't know that can you access that please how about you bryson do you want to access it there's no way it's an issue because it's up too high come on i move it down here oh really well i guess we could just have it like that yeah yeah no we have to have it like that because i really don't want them to get out i just realized okay i need you guys to not get any good trades whatsoever okay uh just don't get any good ones for i don't know like the next like three days i can't believe i didn't realize that i need emeralds to do trading i mean i have some but i don't have enough yeah it would probably help if i actually have some stick trades now i just need to go through the painful process of actually just selling sticks to you guys have one of you oh god neither of you oh man either of you are gonna sell me some arrows uh oh the perfect trade hello why did i think that this combo just wasn't real i completely forgot about it it's such a good one. Oh no i don't have any books oh god oh god i only have one okay well we do have some paper but i don't really feel like killing any of my cows yet oh no oh god we don't even have any wheat to breed oh boy oh cool we're gonna have iron golems over here too okay so we got 80 wheat we should be able to go and do some damage N not not damage poor wording but we should be able to go and do a lot with the, all the animals do i care to actually keep breeding you guys like i i don't know why but i feel really bad if i were to kill you guys but you guys guys i don't mind next movie i think i definitely oh my god yeah next movie we're making an iron farm and then i need to make this into the actual dream chicken empire now that all the animals are done what's up boys uh actually wait before i even give it to them okay so i know this may look really mean and cruel and now you guys here you go i know it's not okay uh, i know it's not much there we go but hopefully that'll allow you guys to do something wait don't you guys also take apples oh my god well i hope you guys take apples <laughs> you take everything but like the one item that i have so much of ugh. What are apples even useful for? No, no, random cat, please, please. Everything is very organized, please, please. Oh my God, you're fast. Come here, come here, boy. Thank you, there you go. Yeah, stay in there. Why do you guys keep spawning them outside of the place? Conscious planetary analysis android? What are you guys making? Well, uh, here you go, android. I know that you need to go and um analyze some kind of planet. So here, you can go down to hell. Alrighty, you two. So we need to figure out some way that I can get books from you guys. Oh, oh, well, that would have been good. Oh, oh, oh my God. No, no, no. I didn't get the book. Oh, no, no. Please don't refresh. Please do not refresh. I don't care how expensive that is. I'll take it. Oh, thank God. Okay. Yes. Uh, sure. Yeah. 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 I guess I'll take it now. Why not? And then maybe we'll just use this chest for any enchantments that I get. God, maybe this is like an okay one to have. And I just move them somewhere else. I just, I'm trying to think. It's like, I don't know if I have any sugar cane. My current situation, I think I have to get this, even though like I really don't want to like i really don't want this yeah honestly you know let's just do it okay so i need two of you and boop wow you were almost like immediately really good Ooh, do i dare 31 Ooh, no i i don't think i dare actually before we even start trading again i think we should go through collect all of our trees hopefully get more sticks turn a lot of the logs into sticks get more emeralds and then we're gonna continue oh uh knowing my luck even if i were to take this i guarantee you like the next villager that i start working on would have mending and it'd be like five emeralds or something i actually don't mind this one even though you're 30 but fire aspect would be really nice on my sword i don't even know what i'm going for if i'm being completely honest like i don't have like a list where it's like i must get these first like i kind of just don't really care and i'm pretty sure fire aspect 2 is the highest one i'm, I'm really hoping i didn't just make an oopsie poopsie but now we come into really big problems because i only have one more emerald and i can't make a bookshelf okay wait never mind okay well we're saved never mind 
I don't know why Mr. Fox is freaking out about that, as if I never have a plan for ever. <sighs> why did I just break that? Okay, wow. Right off the back, we get a W. Okay, well, that was easy. See, this is what I'm talking about. So I got Silk Touch 13, Silk Touch 7. Every time that I accept an enchantment from one of you guys, the next one's like, well, I got it for 50% off, bud. That's why I didn't care about mending. I My luck is very bizarre. Oh boy, I shouldn't even be trying to get a trade. I don't even have any emeralds for it. I don't have any books for it. And I don't have any sticks. We might not be able to get a trade with that villager this movie. We might have to do it next one. Okay, crisis averted. We can actually get back to this. Oh, I... God, it's not bad. Okay, that's pretty bad. Now, I, I, I can get a better one. I know it. I have a strong feeling I can get one for like 12, maybe nine. Oh God, I... I think I actually want this and I might actually add it to my bow right now. No, no, I never use it. I need to focus more on armor. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my God, but that sharpness five. Oh dude, that one's actually so unbearably annoying to get. Okay, I understand this is unbelievably stupid. That is not a good trade whatsoever. I should not take it, but for my own sanity. Alrighty, what's up scammer? God, this is such a stupid trade, but oh well. Now, while we still have time, I just want to help out future me because I know for a fact I will not remember this, even though I did ask you to leave a comment telling me to remember this, but let's be real, okay? So, I think right here is a perfect spot just to make it go that direction. Maybe, maybe one more, just so it's not so sharp on this. And then I guess just to keep it nice and symmetrical, we should just continue with this direction. However, we'll just stop it right here with the wall. So this is, you know, I don't know. It's just so everything is symmetrical. But yeah, I think we're just going to keep going on this side. There we go. Future note for myself. Future me should be perfect off. I should probably start doing this for every single one of my worlds. I think that'd actually be unbelievably helpful and really smart. God, I really somehow need to make it so I can make more farms. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> Been focusing too long on building and uh, mining out the one block oh uh, boy yeah we are really struggling in other areas oh i just made an oopsie Ooh. oh my oh my god that's actually so much uh, and it had to be spruce the one wood that's so difficult for me to get i was supposed to only make it go out to here not here oh boy and to make things even better is how one i'm probably not even gonna get like one percent of this back what? Huh? Well, I don't really care for any of that stuff. Uh, really interesting. Actually, I think I can keep you. Uh, I don't care to keep any of you, though, but I do want your leads. Don't spit on me, okay? This is PG. Um, somehow, these two are still in here, even though they're from the one block, so I'm guessing that's why, but I don't think you're gonna stay. I thought wandering traders only spawned in on grass, not like any block. Okay, at least that wasn't too bad. That's fixed. I think it's okay for me to leave this okay nice and perfect and then all that's left is just to go around get cleaned up leave it nice and easy for future me and done perfect my god we actually did a tremendous amount of work you see this is why i think that 100 days is just a better format for this than 50 hours because i feel like what we accomplished in this one singular 100 days movie would have taken us like three to four 50 hour videos like this actually insane like i'm very proud of myself and i think we managed to do all of the very mundane boring stuff first so that we can now in the next one get into the fun stuff get a whole lot stronger hopefully actually reach the nether which from there we can do so much more and you guys really need to leave that cat alone so i hope you enjoyed the movie i hope you're looking forward to 200 days if you'd like to see it please just subscribe and i will see you next time see ya